I, I, I get a little younger now. <laughs> we have been trying to bring stuff uh, from the older guys in Trinidad. Anybody know the name Stocks in Hill? Yeah. Oh my God of mercy, was, uh, give him a round of applause because, I mean, and check it out, I know Stocky is hearing you giving him that, uh, that round of applause because, you know, this guy used to do so many good things, but the good thing about Stocky is that he's gone, but he did some stuff for us by training people. This guy who works here with us tonight, Stocky's the one who trained that guy. Stocky was a real ass, you know. And he make you a real ass too, you know. And I'm telling you, this guy here, take all of what Stocky give him, and he brings it for everybody after. So I want you, don't clap. Put the love in your hands and welcome on stage Daryl Mendoza the Saint coming to do his thing. Well, boy, if daddy love again, thanks, yeah, thanks, yeah. But I guess <laughs> in America, we're getting love so there's plenty. Right, so listen, me, me say long, I drunk, I old, you know what I mean? Me and say long. The first thing I want to tell you is, like yeah, thank you, yes, yeah, talking. There's a difference between, wait, before I get, I want any pilots in here? A man will be using a pilot, sir. No pilot. I, I would like to ask a pilot why they're trying to kill drunk people on plane. You all realize that's what they're doing. You ever listen to pre-flight instructions? Well, I didn't listen it because since I'm talking shit, I just fly plenty. They say there's a life jacket with a light that will illuminate on contact with water. I'm going to so far. To inflate the life jacket, pull sharply down on the two red tabs. The life jacket could also be inflated by blowing into the two. Oh, you know, listen. So what you're blowing into the two red tubes. Okay. So you give me a life jacket with a light that will illuminate and conduct with water, but we flying. So I just assume if an emergency is to take place, you have to make contact with air first. Before you reach water. <laughs> All right, inflate, pull sharply down. Further be inflated by blowing. Then the jackass and them say the life jacket should never be inflated before exiting. <laughs> so hold on. You must jump in the middle of the ocean and then pull sharply down on the two red tabs. By this time, my ass will be drowning. <laughs> then you're able to blow into the two red tubes. They're on shit. Any pilots, nobody, I want to understand it. And then there's a whistle for attracting attention. You're in the middle of the blasted ocean. Who you will attract? <laughs> Somebody get correct their shock. <laughs> Trying to kill the ass. But if you get drunk, and even if, God forbid, you crash any night, they will see you because you know why? You have on a life jacket. I remember a baby shark. He said, Mommy, how is know the difference between the wreckage and what is good to eat? She says, Child, they will have on a life jacket <laughs> with a light <laughs> and blowing a whistle. <laughs> Me, I feel like if I feel like walking back home. They always feel you're drunk, you don't touch. Next piece of advice. Next piece of advice. All the fellas say, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fellas, listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, it's an old fella. 
When you go home drunk, eh? Go straight to your bed. Go straight to your blasted bed. Because we has this way we trying to convince your wife that we're not drunk. And ladies, they on shit, they know you're drunk. All the time you're lying with the boys, you're walking so. All of a sudden, when you reach home, you start to walk so. High knee lifts. Because you remember when you're gauging a step when you're drunk, a step is two inches, it looks like two feet in it. You had to gauge it high. And small talk with your wife. You know what I mean? Stop this shit. When you go home drunk, what do you do? Just imagine I go, go home drunk and uh, trying to, you know, my wife open the door and squeeze the breast. I'm so good. I leave this breast because I only give milk. We are born for the cow. I she stoops and turns around and squeeze the boomsy. I say, oh, good, darling. If this boomsy could have only lay eggs, you know, we are born for the fowl and them. I'm trying to make small talk that makes you feel me drunk. She squeezed me here and said, you know, if this was only working, we are born for your brother. Hey, New York, when you go home drunk, go straight. Take my advice, is that telling you? Now, ladies, I have some advice for you too. When your man come home drunk, don't feel, don't feel he doesn't remember it. We just remember when you come home drunk. Why all this, all this advantage in drunk people? True, two drunk men went in a little house. The woman realized they're drunk. Take the money and get them to blow up Dolly. <laughs> them so drunk, they take the Dolly and go on. When they're leaving, one man say, Boy, me a camera here, and they, they give me a corpse. <laughs> she just lie down and take it. The next man say, You still good? They give me a witch. No, I mean, you get a witch. She say, yeah, but I bite you on she neck and she fly through the window. <laughs> Always robbing drunk people. <laughs> Stop this shit. And the next thing, ladies. No, no, you know, gentlemen, you know, the fellas don't horn, eh? We do hello, we do horn. We do just be a little unfaithful sometimes. <laughs> but ladies, are you good? <laughs> One thing I would like to tell you ladies, if you happen to catch your boyfriend in an uncompromising position, or you, uh, what is the word? Un, what's that? Or uh, uncompromising. Uncom if you happen to catch a man in an uncompromising position, do not ask him to explain. Because we will. I get catch. My, my wife was 50. And I exchanged her for 225. <laughs> the transition was not smooth. And it had a little overlapping. And my wife catch me with one of the 25. And she tell me to explain. Mistake number one. I said, darling, I can explain. She said, talk. We get catch red handed. I said, baby, I was driving down the road. Rain was falling. And she was mopping the drop and getting wet. And as a good man, I stood up and picked she up. Fellas are going wrong this over. And I'm good. She said, how oh, you end up having sex? I said, just now. When we started driving, she tell me when well, she homeless and she hungry. And I bring she home to give her something to eat because I am a good man. Fellas, so you know do the same thing? She say, how oh, you end up having sex? I say, just now. <laughs> After she finished eat, she tell me she didn't have a bath in a while. So fellas, I give her a bath because why? I am a good 
Oh God, how you going to be? She said, how you end up having sex? I say, just now. After she be, I couldn't. Oh God, you can't put back on the same dirty clothes you had on. I said, baby, remember the tights that they don't use? She said, yes. I said, well, I give you that. And you have, you have a top that they, they don't use. I give you that. She said, oh, you end up having sex. I said, just now. I said, baby, you know, the um, shoes I buy for you that they don't use, she said, yes. I said, well, like a shit. She said, how oh, you end up having sex? I said, you know, before she was leaving, she asked me if it have anything else my wife don't use. <laughs> Benio. I would like to say um, good evening. Now, not because some of us heard the joke before. You don't have to spoil it for others. You know what I'm saying? I hear that one. Anyhow, um, before I leave, I want to say um, good evening to a special group of people, but are frightened. Because we get so sensitive now, you can't see certain things. All of a sudden, you can't see blind. You're visually impaired. All of a sudden, you cannot say retarded and dotish. You have a learning disability. Or you're differently able, you, you know, be sensitive. All of a sudden, you cannot say old people, you can't even say niggeritis again. They say it's an ethnic eating disorder. I want to say a special good afternoon to all the old people. But I don't know what to say. What else call them? Senior citizens, boy. Hey, you're looking for this type of round of applause now, man. Because let me tell you something. You see some young people, you're ungrateful in your answer. Some young people have been enjoying what the old people have worked hard for you. And they feel we do this. Just imagine I retire, I work all my life hard. I say I'm going to spend a weekend in the Hayate, you know, in the expensive hotel in China. The Hayate, you know, right? The, the five star, right? Mm hmm, Hayate. A thousand dollars a night. I say, all right, I'm going to spend three nights. Darling, you know, you know this joke? I want to make sure before I say it, you know, you go, you go bust the mark. <laughs> you know it? You know it? Tell me, you want to say something? That, yes, you know it? Yes, it's you. I ain't cook here. Yes. <laughs> oh, you just, oh, all right, all right. Sorry, darling. Sorry, sorry, sorry. She wants to know, I cook here? Excuse you just see my eyes? <laughs> Anyhow, young people feel old people should pay. I go on, they say a thousand dollars a night. I said, all right, I'm going to spend three nights. You know when I'm leaving, this very young woman manager telling me $5,000. I said, darling, $5,000 So what? She said, well, I um, you know them hotels are charge for everything. She said, we charge it for the free Wi-Fi. You charge me for the free wife. I said, I let me never use no Wi Fi. She said, Yes, but it was here. You could have used it. <laughs> it's not my fault you didn't use it. She said, Look, we have an Olympic size swimming pool. We charge you for that. I said, Darling, up to now, me and Bane. <laughs> In the pool. She said, Yes, but, but um, that is not my fault. The pool was here. You could have been. And she said to tell me all the things where the Hayate charging me for because she feel her old and dotish. I said, oh, so everything Hayate charged me for that me I use, all they charge me because I could have used it. All right. I write a check for $3,000 and I write it out sober. She said, excuse me, uncle, uncle, you know, I know you might be seeing that, but I really tell you, um, 5,000. I said, I know. I charge you $2,000 for having sex with me. She said, what the hell, I never had sex with you. I said, yes, but I was here. <laughs> you could have. No. Good night, thank you very much. Darling, I know that name. Good night.